got to build a star-studded team. You got to look around the people around you and be impressed with how good they are. And what I mean by that, a lot of folks will go out and they will find an accountant, but the accountant has no restaurant experience. That'd be like me finding a doctor to work on my knee who has never worked on a knee. That would be a bad, bad decision. They go find a lawyer, never dealt with the restaurant business. What about managers? How important do you think a shift manager is, an assistant manager. What about waitresses or waiters? How important do you think those people are? Now, I found from my own experiences, this last summer we were working on a client uh, project in Haiti, of all places. If you've never built restaurants in Haiti, trust me, unique experience. Everything I thought I knew about building restaurants got tested in Haiti because they, for the most part, don't have running water. For the most part, don't have instant access to electricity and gas. For the most part, they have no infrastructure. Most of the people there didn't speak English. I struggle with English myself, but at the very least, that's the only thing I speak. None of them have ever worked in restaurants. See. In most countries, you go find employees that have worked in restaurants, and they bring some of that expertise with them, and then you have to retrain them from all the stupid things they do that their last boss let them do. But at the very least, I have a guideline I can start with. In Haiti, you don't have that guideline. They've never done it. But yet here, with restaurants that we deal with, I see that a lot too. It's amazing the number of times I'll see a startup and I'll say, well, who's your manager? Well, it used to be the manager at XYZ office store. Did they ever work in a restaurant? No. Great. See how that's going to go. You've got to have a star-studded team. In our world, I call it my starting five. I've got to have at least five people that I would put up against anybody. Now, I use a lot of sports analogies because sports are near and dear to my heart and near and dear to the heart of my son. But can you imagine a basketball coach that puts together a basketball team? And what he says is, I'm going to bring five hockey players out here, and we're going to teach them how to play basketball, and we'll see if we can compete with the best basketball players in the world. That doesn't happen. I can tell you you're starting five. You have to have management people that are operators. You have to have crew members that are great at their jobs and hopefully want to become managers. Now, back in the 90s, we used to talk a lot about empowerment. So whether we were dealing with national chains or independents, the whole talk of the day was empower your people so that they're allowed to make more decisions because the reality is, is we want to give them freedom. Okay, the restaurant industry is not that. The restaurant industry is very much about micromanagement. It's very much about stay focused on the task at hand. Back in the 90s, the whole focus was, well, we really don't want people that are great operators in the corporate office. We want people who are great marketing people or great finance people or great HR people, but the operators, and those are the companies that are struggling now. Because you've got to be able to win the game. You've got to have your starters be focused on the game and the task at hand. Do you think the customer cares how good you are with human resources if they can't get their steak from the kitchen to my table correctly? They don't care about your human resources. They don't care about your marketing. They don't care what the other branded restaurant just like you in another part of the country is doing. They don't care if you have 4,000 restaurants. They don't care. 
They care about one restaurant, one dining experience, one person sitting right here in front of me for the next X number of minutes, and that's what I'm paying for. That's what I care about. You, as a startup restaurant tour, have to care about that. If you don't, it would be my opinion that you're not willing to play the lottery. There's no way around it. So where are you going to find these stars? They're everywhere. There's over 13 million employees in the restaurant business today. Get this, one out of every 12 people you meet on the street has worked in the restaurant industry at least a year. It is the largest employee workforce behind the federal government. That's a sad state of affairs for the federal government because they shouldn't be that big. But the restaurant industry is the second largest employee workforce behind the federal government. The pool is giant. There's over 150,000 product and service vendors who sell something to the restaurant industry. Over 150,000. So the pool is giant. You can find them anywhere and everywhere. I suggest you become one of those great starting five that literally is passionate about operations, wants to run the floor, and then the other starting five you're going to find to support you, you talk to a whole lot of people. And if the word coming out is not operations, 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 customer service, hospitality, quality, service, quality, accuracy, if that's not their focus, you don't need them to be a part of your starting five. Doesn't mean you don't need them. You might need them to be some of the folks coming off the bench, but they're not your starting five. 